He was a pure person. He was a person that did everything calmly. He was a person of truth. He guarded his truth. He didn't hesitate to confront the chief of staff when it was needed, and not a prime minister or defense minister. Prime Minister Netanyahu himself mentioned this here, that the relationship with him was not simple. He went in his way. This is one of the only cases I've seen where they said the same thing after a person died as they said about him when he was alive. What I heard today were the same things that I heard when he was alive. He was a rare person and everyone should know that today we brought to rest a man like whom there aren't many. I remember that day when he called me and told me about his illness, after he found out that one of the newspapers was going to publish it as a scoop. I think he beat the illness, and not the other way around. It played hide-and-seek with him, and he was able to avoid it for more than 20 years. And I think he left a great legacy. I think he's a man who rose above all the petty politics, about all those little things between people. He always looked at things realistically, from above, like a great person, and I'm really bowing my head today. This is a man who sacrificed his entire life for the state of Israel, for the people of Israel. When one says he was the salt of the earth and the hero of Israel and one of our finest sons, usually it's cliché. This time, the words are dwarfed by his character, he will be greatly missed.